So, you've hit your goal, but you don't really know where to go, and perhaps you've lost a habit or fallen out of a good workflow. Perhaps you're on the other end of the spectrum, and you haven't quite hit your goal, but you're not sure if you should tackle it again. The one thing that makes these two situations similar is that goals are not meant to be static. They are meant to be dynamic and ever-changing things, so let's talk about that a little bit today. Hey everybody, my name is Mark and I'm a senior studying at NYU and lately I've been leaning a lot into reflection and breaking down my plans so that I find what works and what doesn't so I can continue to work on the projects that I'm adamant about. Today I wanted to take some questions that I commonly think about in these situations and share them with you. It's like 96 degrees today, so if I start sweating throughout this video, don't worry about it. If you've ever read anything about goal setting, then you've probably come across the idea in one way or another that you should break down goals. For example, a common one that I've heard is setting SMART goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. There's a lot of content on these strategies out there, so I'm not gonna go into that right now. But the key thing to note for this video that's relevant is that A, goals need to be broken down, and B, goals need to have some sort of time frame to be worked on. Now, breaking down goals is gonna be important for this video, so let's take a quick example. One easy thing to do for goals is to take a dream that you have and break it down into its achievable components. For example, one of my dreams is to become fluent in several different spoken languages. I've tried to learn a few different languages now, and as of late, my most recent endeavor has been to learn as much Japanese as I can in the three months that make up my summer, June, July, and August. The idea here is that I have a time, an ending time, where I can look back on the structure of my goal and use that to forge ahead, make a new goal, or adjust what comes next. All in all, whether I achieve my goal or totally miss the mark, I'm still left with A, something to work with, which is the goal breakdown, and B, there's a set time that I'll reevaluate all of these things. So you've hit the end of your time frame and you haven't gotten anything done. Well, first thing is to pat yourself on the back because even if you haven't gotten any work done, you've set aside an idea for a goal and trying even at its lowest level is so much better than doing absolutely nothing at all. For example, my goal for Japanese is by September 1st to be able to read all of the characters except for kanji and to be able to speak and understand some pretty basic phrases. So let's suppose for a minute that it's September 1st and I haven't quite hit this goal. The first thing I do is evaluate the amount of work in proportion to the timeline that I gave it. I like to do things in relatively short sprints. For example, you can't learn a whole language in three months, but getting as far as I can shows me what works and what doesn't. So ask yourself, have you given yourself too much work for too little time? Or perhaps you've given yourself too much time for too little work. The second thing is to evaluate your breakdown so you can make changes for when you next tackle your goal. What kinds of things worked and what kinds of things didn't? For Japanese, I broke it down into four different categories. Were there any habits that did work? What about habits that didn't work? Perhaps the time blocks that I set aside were at pretty bad times and when I did end up doing Japanese, it wasn't for as long as I set out to do it for. So start off by reviewing your timeline and how much work you gave yourself in that time and then look at the actual breakdown. And all in all, take what works and keep it and take what didn't work and throw it away and find something else to replace it. Come September, I already know that I'll need to spend more time looking at Japanese grammar and I'll need to rush the small things a little bit. I've spent way too long on some really insignificant things. On the other hand, workbooks have actually been working really well for me, so I'll keep an eye out for more of those and work through them through the next sprint of language learning if I choose to do so. Take what works, keep it, and take what doesn't work and throw it away. Because if you keep trying the same thing and you keep finding it doesn't work, then it's time to change. And that's why goals can be so great. They are dynamic, ever-changing things. They are this guide that helps you toward a destination, not a specific roadmap you have to follow. If you stray from the way and find a different path, great. Change your goal and make sure you adjust it over time. So you've attained your goal. The first thing to do is to congratulate yourself, not only for what milestone you've hit, but for all the work that you've put into it. Don't forget to applaud the effort of what you've put in and not just the result. The objective work you've put in, but also how you've grown as a person. The next question might be, where do you go from there? What's the next step so that you don't become stagnant if you don't want to? Well, here are three things that I like to ask myself that I keep in mind whenever I reach a goal and want to move on. 
Since you've broken down your goal in a way that seems to have worked for you, even though you might want to make changes, the question to ask yourself now is how can you take that goal to the next level? Perhaps you've just taught yourself how to program in Python. You finished a course online. Maybe you want to take that to the next level by learning a more difficult language like Java or even C. Perhaps you want to go ahead and write your own custom script. Write down that next goal, the next big achievement on your little journey here. Congratulate and celebrate how you've gotten and then get started to hit that next level. If your goal is to attain a dream, then what is the next component of that dream that you can move on to? For example, and staying optimistic here, when I become a fluent speaker of Japanese, or at least speak at a comfortable level, I get to choose what language I get to learn next for this dream of learning several different spoken languages. It's this idea that when you finish one goal, the reward is that you get to move on. You get to take one step closer to this bigger dream and even larger overarching goal. And lastly, if your goal was to get somewhere static, there is no next level or bigger dream to attain, what can you do to maintain where you are at? For example, when I did keto and did intense workouts about two years ago to lose a lot of weight, I didn't really want to lose more weight, but I did want to maintain the more healthy weight that I was at. I strayed a few times, but for me, it's come down to maintaining a consistent workout routine and not falling into old eating habits. I've made rules for myself and over several months, those rules and new habits have become just that. Habits that I barely even think about the fact that it's kind of a goal now to maintain my current weight. This video isn't meant to be a how-to or what you need to do next once you hit your goal. Just like goals themselves, this video is simply meant to be a guide, not a roadmap on what to do next. These are questions I ask myself and things I think about when I hit milestones because I have slipped and fallen backwards before. And hey, sometimes you do need to take a few steps backwards to move forward in the long term. Hopefully these goals and ideas have helped you and you've gained something from this video. If you have, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Social accountability can be a great thing, but just shouting out into the world what your goal is, what your new goal is, how you're gonna amend your previous goal that didn't quite work out. I'd love to hear it and whatever feedback you might have about the video. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to like the video. If you learned something, subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. But if this is the last video you told yourself you were gonna watch before doing something, go do something, go work on that goal. But as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.